doesn't feel like it's ready to take off yet, but I think in a matter of a few weeks, it will be ready. The Sky Pup is built mostly of wood and styrofoam, and believe it or not, is covered with the material used to line suit jackets. It's amazing when people see it. They, they just can't imagine that an airplane made out of extruded styrofoam could actually fly. So I, I'm, pr I'm pretty impressed. I'm very excited about flying it. Really am. A garage, a good set of tools, and under $1,000 in materials. OK, you want to lift? There we go. Along with a seat of the pants spirit of adventure can transform anyone into a small plane aviator. I've had a lot of people come and look at this airplane and actually thought it was a, uh, an, a radio controlled airplane because of what the materials that are made out of it. And then when I sit in it and show them that it actually is made for one person to fly, they tend not to believe me. They, they, they pretty much think I'm nuts. There's a lot of accomplishment in a little bit of time. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why it is so popular. The airplane doesn't come in a kit form. It, what you do is you purchase plans for the airplane, and the plans are very thorough as far as uh, uh, the parts list and what you need and uh, sizes of things. Um, so uh, how I got started with this, I just I started by making the building the wings because I figured if I could build the wings, everything else would be pretty much cake. Ugh. Okay, it's a little tricky getting in, but lift over. My feet are on the floor. And then just sit in it. And then what you do is just pull your feet up. Small planes offer unique challenges to their pilots. Uh, it's a little snug, but it's all right. Oh, the stick will be right about in this area here to control the, uh, the uh, horizontal stabilizer in the elevator. Uh, the airplane doesn't have conventional rudder pedals like other airplanes. It has a rudder bar and the rudder bar is used to control the rudder and it just moves, move, will move uh, cables back and forth. And you can see it moving. I need this practice. If you add up all the wood in this airplane, it probably would not uh, make a decent campfire. It really is mostly all foam and the wood just giving it a, a structure where it's needed, the foam giving it its basic shape. Total weight of the, of the airplane, empty weight, is around 200 pounds. Because it weighs under 254 pounds, the Sky Pup can be flown with no license required. But just jumping into one of these without more than a few flying lessons would border on the insane. Good morning, I'm uh, Roger Ford, and this is my airplane, uh, it's a Sky Pup. Uh, nicknamed it uh, Mach Nun. It's because it flies so slow. Uh, I built it between uh, the year 2000, 2004, so it took me four years and about 700 hours to build it. Sky Pups use modest engines between 15 and 25 horsepower. Many are equipped with modified snowmobile engines. They're prop. Skypop pilots approach the fanatical in their love for these planes. With a top speed of 70 miles per hour and a cruising speed of under 50, once airborne, the Skypop flies by using rudder control for yaw, or left and right control, and a stick for pitch, or up and down control. But calm air is required. The airplane has some restrictions when you're flying it. Uh, no wind is a, is a must. The airplane should be flown in little or no wind um, because it, it's inherently made it very light. Um, it's only a two-axis plane. So uh, in windy conditions, you want to uh, really avoid crosswind, uh, trying to do crosswind landings since you cannot uh, dip or tilt the wing or what they call uh, crabbing the airplane down the runway. To, before you land, it, it, it doesn't do that very well. Other than that, the airplane should fly pretty well. The Sky Pop is one example, in many, of the never-ending search to find an inexpensive small plane that can be built at home. 
a search that has taken some very unusual paths.